visit biomass fuel fire chain grade boiler, including the main equipment of the boiler as follows feeding system, combustion system, and single drum body boiler, economizer, and air preheater system, dust treatment system, multi cyclone, and back filter, roti run as discharging system, water pump, and water tank system. Control room and control panel. Air compressor system. Rice huts are transferred from the fuel boats to a conveyor belt. After that, the conveyor belt will transfer the rice huts to the storage. This is the fittings screw to bucket elevator. The bucket elevator delivery the right has bind the fitting screw to the silo. Rice hut will be transferred by the rotary to the right hut sprayer. The fuel will be fed through the fitting wheel to the combustion chamber. The fuel feeding system is controlled automatically by the right hut fuel level sensor in the silo. When the sensor light is yellow, the system will be shut down. When the right hut sensor back to red, the feeding system will restart and feed right hut to the silo. The video of the furnace of the boiler. This is the front edge discharging screw. This is the dragging chain. It removes all the ash on the chain grate and in the combustion chamber after the fuel burned down. This is the rotary ash discharger below the economizer and air preheater. This is the rotary ash discharger below the multi cyclone. This is the rotary ash discharger below the back filter. This is the back filter controller. This is controlled by the differential pressure in the back filter. When the differential pressure is over 100 Pascal, the back filter system will run automatically. Check out the desk to ensure the back filter is clean and the differential pressure drop down below 100 Pascal. The flow gas out of the combustion chamber will go through the economizer. The water will be heated to increase the temperature in the economizer before go to the drum to increase the boiler efficiency. The flue gas goes through the motorcycle. In here, the flue gas will be pre filtered and remove the big side dust. After that, the flue gas will go through the back filter and remove the fire dust below 5 micrometer and discharge through the discharging system. The flue gas will go through the induced fan and go out to the chimney. The main ducting supply air from the primary fan outside and feed to the air preheater. The air preheater, the air will be heated from 30 degree to 150 degrees Celsius. After that, transfer to the combustion chamber. The feeding system is controlled automatically in the control panel. Steam pressure is controlled automatically by the primary and the second track fan and the rotary fuel feeding system. The water feeding system. Water is pumped into the water tank by the sensor on the water tank automatically to ensure enough water in the tank. This is the side glass of the water tank.
This is the control panel of the water tank and the big pump. The water is pumped into the economizer and heated from 80 degrees to 140 degrees Celsius. After that, we will transfer to the drum on the body boiler. During operating the boiler, every two hours, the operator have to proceed the blow down procedure according to the manufacturer manual. Note: the operator have to make sure that the water level and pressure in the drum must be stable. Every two hours, the operator have to proceed the blow down procedure of all the economizer. The operator regularly check the chemical supply to the water pump and make sure the chemical always enough for the operation. The negative signal of the combustion chamber is controlled interactively by the induced fan. Maintain negative pressure in the combustion chamber, prevent positive pressure in the burning procedure and ensure the flue gas is solid to the chimney. The level in the level signal in the drum is controlled interactively by the water pump system automatically. Ensures the water level in the drum always stable for the operating.